If you're familiar with using different paint programs on a computer or the iPad or different devices, a lot of them have something with, called a fill bucket where you pick a color, you tap on a shape, and it fills it in automatically. Procreate doesn't have a fill bucket necessarily, but it does have a fill feature. So if I want to fill in a shape for this design, I can always just take my brush. I'm going to pick a um, brush pen and I'm just going to start coloring the shape and I can always just color and fill it in that way. But if you go up to the edge, you have to be very careful coloring the edge. Make sure you don't go over it. unless you're coloring on a different layer, which you can check out in another one of my videos. Um, but I can also drag and drop the color over. If I go to the color picker in the top right and tap and hold and drag over, you'll see the color becomes a spot. Now I can drop it into a shape and it fills it in. Assuming there's no leaks. If there's a leak in your outline, it'll fill the entire section. So for example, if I add a shape right here, and I don't close it in all the way, and I go back and drop into it, it will fill outside and leak outside of the shape. So you wanna make sure all your shapes are filled in before you start dragging and dropping. But that is the kind of quote unquote hidden fill bucket feature of Procreate.